Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Your girl's back at it again. Um, and this is a brand new episode. And uh, the artist I'm going to talk about is my girl, Elle Varner. Elle Varner is one of my favorite artists. I've been following Elle Varner since 2012. Um, she had released her uh, mixtape Conversational Lush back in 2012. So, um, and ever since then, Elle Varner has been on the roll. And I'm so excited for her new album, which she's been working on for a couple of years, called um, Four Letter Word. It's not out at the moment, but she will be fin finishing up this album. Hopefully, it'll be released this year or next year in 2017. So, um, Elle Varner, I mean, she's really talented. You know, she's really creative. She's really one of those R&B artists that people need to appreciate and people need to embrace her because she's bringing that real R&B, that real funk, that real soul, that real rawness and greenness to what R&B is supposed to be. And it's supposed to be, you know, talking about how you feel, your emotions, and all that other good stuff. Because like I said, I'm an old school person. I listen to the old school, the older generation of R&B music. And maybe here and there I listen to some of the new generation. But I'm more of like, you know, like the Michael Jacksons and the Princes and the Whitney Houstons and the, you know, Aaliyahs and Brandys and Mariah Carey's. So, Elle Varner, she, she really does fits in that, you know, realm of music and that realm of making records. And I know she, so far, she put out one album, um, her debut album um, called Perfectly Imperfect. So, she released that in 2012. And I love this album so much because Elle Varner, she speaks on real things. She speaks on, like, you know, self-esteem issues. She speaks on, you know, heartbreak. She speaks on, like, love and falling in love and, you know, you know, just really figuring out who you want to be as a person. And um, Elle Varner, she put out, like, Only Wanna Give It To You. She put out Refills. She put out I Don't Care. Um, so um, I know Refills, one of her, like, really known records, like, can I get a refill? Like that record. It's one of my like El, it's one of my favorite Elvana records because that record is so unique and so different. And when she created that record, it just brought that essence of like R and B flavor, you know, that feeling of like, you know, getting to know someone, you know, being able to like, you know, just get to know a person, you know, and it's like, oh my god, I refill, I need another refill because, you know, I really want to get to know the person and stuff. And I like how she sings her records. Her her voice is more of a raspy. It's kind of like, it's not too high. It's like, she has like a raspy tone, but it's it fits perfectly with her because she's not over singing the record. Her records, it's like the way she sings, her voice is beautiful, and it's not like, you know, when you listen to her, she's not screaming. It's like some singers they scream when they're while they're singing, but she's one of those artists like when she sings, she gives you who she is as an artist, El Barn. Um, and also she put out other singles like I know she put out like Cold Case and she put out Little Do You Know, Little Did You Know. No, I think it was wait, hold on. It's Little Do You Know. She put out Little Do You Know, Cold Case, um, Fuck It All, uh, See Me Tonight where your man is and don't want to dance um last year um she put out don't want to dance and i like that record because that record talks about like you know you just want to just stay at home you want to relax you want to chill by yourself you don't feel like going home you feel like going to no club you just want to relax you know watch tv watch martin and stuff just relax you know and that record featured asap ferg and he's a talented rapper. He can he can he can he can rap, and the wordplay is legit. And the chemistry to the record when she put out that video, you know, she was at a party and she didn't feel good, you know, being around people. She was like, I'm sick and tired of it. And it's like, I'm ready to go home, you know. This party sucks ass. So she was like, it sucks. Like there's nothing, like like I said, it's just nothing like. There's nothing that like it's just she just don't like the atmosphere. So she's like, nah, man, I'm just. I'm just going home and I'm just going to relax and chill. And um, when she released her uh, debut single for her first album, she put out um, one of the collaborations. That's another album. I mean, I'm sorry. That's another record that she put out is um, uh, Only Want to Give It To You featuring J. Cole. So her and J. Cole, that record, I like that record because it was like, you know, fun. You know, it was very artistic. 
uh, she's more like the girly, goofy, you know, like really like, you know, fun and, you know, but she, like I said, she holds it down for herself. That's what I like about her. She holds it down for herself. She holds it down. She's like, yo, you know, I'm fun, you know, outgoing. So I like that side of Elle Varner. And another side of Elle Varner that I like is when she gets vulnerable. You know, it's a side when, you know, she, at times, you know, she gets depressed and she gets sad. And, you know, and another thing what I like about Elle Varner is that she brings out emotion in her records. It's like now, like with R&B, there's a lack of, like, emotion and raw feelings. Like, like I said, you have, like, artists that they want to give you that vulnerability. They want to give you, like, what they've been through. And so you can connect with them. And you are able to see what they're about, you know. And I think Elle Varner, like I said, she's on the verge. She's on her way to becoming great because it's good to acknowledge and embrace women artists because it's important that they get their voices heard and they talk about real stuff. They can talk about real stuff. They talk about all kinds of stuff. And I think, like I said, as far as Elle Varner is concerned, I know that she's really taking her time with this album because she wants to bring it the best quality of work and she wants people the ones who haven't followed her like i have and the rest of her you know uh elephants well she used to call us elephants but now they're elevators we've we've seen her grow we've watched her like blossom into a, a amazing woman like she literally she stands on her own two feet and she's very outspoken about like you know the music industry and how it's you know it's all messed up at times because I, I see her on social media and I see her tweets and she gives tweets of like inspiration and wisdom and she talks about as a woman you know she she refuses to be put in a box you know she wants to create something that represents not only her but for everybody so for the ones that will get to see Elle Varner as like I said a musician and more, you know she's an artist but she's also a musician and so she's gonna put her art out on the table and like I said you know people are gonna be able to understand and they're gonna grasp who she is as a musician so it's like you know Elvana I think that she has what it takes I mean she's already proven that she has what it takes because you know she has a you know a couple of records that you know like I said like only want to give it to you refill and I don't care and you know don't want to dance i mean she really 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 embodies like what it means to be in to be a musician that record i don't care is a record that you know she's standing up for herself she's like listen love is love she's saying you know it's okay to love someone i mean regardless of like i said who you are your background your orientation and that visual she really put in all the elements and she really brought it to life like you saw like an interracial couple you saw a gay couple so you saw lots of things in her visuals one thing about Elle Varner I like is that she's very 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 really good with the storytelling like Elle Varner doesn't just like when she sings her records it's like she'll sing them but then when she make her visuals her videos she will bring it to life like she really really is so in tune with who she is as a you know like i said an overall artist because she grew up listening to all kinds of music you know she grew up listening to like you know like i said you know stevie wonder and like michael jackson and prince and ella fitzgerald and mariah carey and brandy and monica i mean she grew up listening to a whole vi a wide selection of artists so that I can hear the influences of those artists that she mentioned that influence her. I can hear, I can hear some Mariah Carey. I can hear some Brandy. I can hear some Prince. I can hear some Jill Scott, and I can hear some Indie because to me, during when I was coming up, like Indie and Jill Scott, they talked about self-expression and freedom and being able to secure who you are as a person and being a woman and don't be afraid to like stand up for yourself and embrace yourself and she reminds me of that kind of like like her music it reminds me of those artists like you know jill scott and indian Ari. i love jill scott and i love indy Ari. they're really 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 talented and i also have to say erica badu i gotta give erica badu her credit erica badu she be holding it down because erica badu she's another one that she's very 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 talented she's very gifted she's so artistic so l varner she fits in that 
realm. She fits in that, you know, like I said, category because she's so like outgoing and she's so like artistic. And you know, like I said, you know, she's been like, you know, grinding and hustling. And I hope that this new album by her, like people get to see more of her, you know, and people get to understand like El Varner, she's not just your but you know, and they'd be like, well, she's a woman, she's pretty. No, she she knows what she knows. Like, she's talented. She's legit. Um, she also, not only can she sing live, she can play the guitar. And I like how she's very versatile. Like, she will sing in front of people. She'll also play a guitar while she sings. So it's good to see that Elvon, she's taking control of her artistry. She also, it's like, she's not going to be put in one box because she refuses to do that, to do so. But the thing about her is what I really like is that she knows that she's ha she has to change the game and she has to like, you know, open the door for other people, you know, because this generation, like I said, you know, when it comes to certain artists, they have no idea, they have no clue who opened the door for their favorite artists. And they're, they're so quick to call them has and flops, which I think is really stupid because if you do your research, before you come at like a legend, an icon, someone that paved the way for your favorite artist, you need to do research and stop being so naive and so gullible and think for yourself. You need to think for yourself because that way you're able to know what is what and what is what and whatever. But my thing is, I think that Elle Varner, she's coming to her own and I really, really, really look forward to like seeing more from her. I really want to see her in concert because she puts on a great show. Like she interacts with the crowd, so she just not only does she sing and dance. I mean, it's just she sang. She sang. She sang and played the guitar. She interacts with the fans. You know, she interacts with her audience. So she's very down to earth, and she and and she's relatable because she went through things growing up. She went through bullying. You know, I know as a child, you know, she wore glasses and she was chubby growing up. Like I wore glasses too, so. I can relate because I wore glasses. Um, me, I've always been skinny. I've always been a slim gym. I call myself a slim gym. That's the, that's what I made it. I've always had a petite, small figure, but I embraced it. You know, I love myself. So it's like when I see the media try to like warp and manipulate people, like, oh, this is a look, or this is a standardized look. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror, like, listen, I am who I am, and the guy above, he didn't make any mistakes because he does not make any mistakes. So you gotta believe in yourself. So. Elvon, she got bullied. She got teased for wearing glasses. I got bullied and teased for wearing glasses. I got bullied and teased because I had small, because I have small ears. I got bullied and teased because I had a gap in my mouth, and people were like, "Oh, she got a gap," and you know, it was all spaced. I was like, "Whatever." But that's why it's important for artists to take a stand and speak for the people and speak for themselves and for everybody else because we're all a unit. We're one. We're like a nation. So it's like we have to stand in together. So don't let nobody like discourage us and oppress us because it's like El Varner have said some things that you know ruffle a couple people's feathers too. But as a fan of hers, I I I respect her. I like her idea her ideas. I like her point of views. Um, I know recently like you know she said some things, and if you want to know what she said you can google it i'm not going to say anything about it because i'm focused on you know presenting who elvon is i'm not trying i'm not going back with what's going on so whatever just google it so i like the fact that you know she's speaking from her experiences and she's letting people know that it's okay to talk about your experiences don't be ashamed and just open and just and just like i said just go for it and it's like it's like her her and Jasmine Sullivan, to me, they're one of the few black artists that they are really, really fucking talented. Like, incredibly talented. But we know when it comes to the politics, and I talked to, you know, some people about that, is that, you know, for them, because they're black artists, you know, the stereotype, like, oh, they can only sing one thing. Or they only can create one kind of genre. No, they're versatile, you know, and like I said about Jasmine Sullivan, people need to go out and support Jasmine Sullivan, so, and people need to go out and support El Varner, you know, so, like I said, you know, El Varner, I have El Varner's album, that album is right here, so, this is the album that I have, 
I have her album right here. So yeah, man, like El Varna, you know, she's the truth. You know, she's she's the real deal. She's not a you know she 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 will not sugarcoat anything in her records, and that's what I like about El Varna. It's like she speaks from within. She speaks deep to a personal level, to a spiritual level, to a level of she will have a connection with you. If you open your mind, you open your heart, you open your soul, you'll get to see that El Varner, what she says, is real. You'll get to see, you know, what she talks about. You'll get to see the different elements. But um, the thing that I like about her is that, um, you know, I don't, I don't like that she, well, I mean, what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. It was something up. I was being something like that. So I was like, I like that she doesn't care. And for people who don't like her art, that's fine. But for people that do embrace it, go out, go support her. Go embrace her. Go for her. Just just, just go, you know, like I said. And I think that, like I said, in, in my opinion, I think that, you know, she really, like I said, she gets on the ball games. She stays consistent. Then she going to be really, I, I think she's going to be like one of the, the best. I even told her, I even tweeted her, I said, girl, you, you're one of the best that we have out. And she loved it. She really appreciate my tweet because I, I'm just saying, like, for black artists to really take control, you got to take control of your identity. You have to take control of who you are. You got to do it. You got to do it because there's some knuckleheads and ignorant mofos that are going to be like, well, you don't fit like this and you don't fit like that. You're going to be like, um, excuse you, what? Oh, are you talking about somebody else? Okay. And I'm, I'm just tired of people like, because I know some people, they be picking on me for like, like, well, you know, and I just brush it off, but like I said, I'm just getting sick and tired of the BS because I'm not taking no mess from nobody. I don't care who, I don't care who they are. It's just, I'm at the point where I have to take control of my life and I have to do what's best for me. So, like I said, I think um people need to really 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 you know accept you know different artists um my other favorite songs that really got me as a fan of El Varner is Soulfly and Soulfly is one of my favorite records from her because Soulfly talks about you know being able to embrace yourself um it's okay to love what you have and you know you don't have to you know change yourself for other people you know you do it on your own terms but this record really talks about women how they deal with like self-esteem issues how they're very how they're insecure of their body and it's like because of the media and you got social media you got television you got you know magazines you know and you got all of that and they're telling women well if you look like this then you'll be more radiant or you'll have more popularity no you cannot like seriously you gotta embrace who you are you look in the mirror every single day and this is what I do I look myself in the mirror every single day and I use encouraging words I uplift myself and I also read positive things that will help me you know stay focused and stay positive I read a lot of spiritual things I read a lot of like things that can uplift my soul so whenever I'm feeling down, I can get, I can take from that, and like I said, I'll be fine. Or if it's a lyric of my favorite artist that's like motivational, you know, I'll be like, you know, I know. Okay, for example, like Missy Elliott, I love Missy Elliott. I am a Missy Elliott fan, and Lord, when I make this video, Missy Elliott, y'all gonna know. You gonna know why Missy Elliott's the queen. You gonna know why she's super, super, super duper fly. You know this. You know, you gonna know, but that'll be for the next video. But Missy Elliott, for example, she's one, she's another one of my favorite artists. Like Missy Elliott, you know, and the lyric, it was one of her, um, it was her second album, The Real World. And she was like, I'm a smooth chick, I'm a smooth chick, I'm a cool chick, shake my ass down to the music. About, I be like, that, that right there, I play that in my mind. And it helps me. I'll be like, if I'm feeling down, I'm like, nah, I'm cool. I'm fly. I'm bad. You know? And it's like, that gets me going. That keeps me up. I'll be like, yes. Like, Missy Ellie. So, yeah, it's like, El Varner. It's like, I like how she talked about 
you know, it's important for the black artists to take control and stop cutting themselves short. Stop, stop shortchanging themselves and stop, you know, like, you know, it's almost like, and this is what she said. She said, you know, the stereotypes of black artists, like, oh, we only have to do this certain kind of music to get the general public's attention. Or we got to, no, 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 you be who you are, whoever you are, whoever you are as a person, you take risk. You go all out. And it's almost like, I don't like how, I don't like how, like I said, nowadays you got some black artists. And as I said, I'm not going to mention names, but it's only a few knuckleheads that, you know, they got more popular over the years and then they completely lost it. And it's like, you know, we all know when it comes to race and the politics, it's like, you know, I don't like that you got the black artists, some of them, not all of them, because some the ones that do support their own, that do acknowledge their own, that do embrace their own, and they don't have an ego, and they stand together as one. Like, when they go to these black award shows, like the BET Awards and the Soul Train Awards, those award shows are very important. They are an important, important outlet for the black artists to express themselves, to get on a platform, for a platform to acknowledge your talent, for a platform to really get them where they need to be. Like I say, oh, and also 106 apart, which unfortunately it got disbanded because, like I said, you know, but I think people need to bring that show back, but that'll be another video. But yeah, man, like, it just doesn't make any sense. And it's almost like Elvon, she was like, you know, yeah, you know, we gotta just stand together. We have to be able to make sure that our voices are heard and not be afraid to say what we have to say and speak up for ourselves so I really love her so much I think that she's very 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 articulate about what she you know, like I said that her experience is what she's been through so that helped make her stronger and that helped her made her to have tough skin too because excuse me who <coughs> you know she talks about like bullying and it's not cool to bully somebody. It's not cool to bully people because they're different. She also explains that, you know, like I said, in that visual, I don't care. Like, whoever you love, no matter who you love, it's important for people to realize that you are you are who you are. And, I, and that's that. You know, she, she, she telling me. And, um, I think for this new album, she says she's going to be more liberated it's gonna be more like you know she's telling like real stuff and I, I and I think I hope with this new album I hope she collaborates with um like a, another rapper I know who sh I know Kendrick Lamar Kendrick Lamar would be perfect I, I love I love Kendrick Lamar man I, I know an L Warner and the Kendrick Lamar record would be very dope cause Kendrick Lamar is another artist that I love so much but I, I can I can I can visualize a L Warren and a Kendrick Lamar record. So I would like for her to collaborate, you know, with another rapper, White Wolf, such as the likes of Kendrick Lamar. And I also would like for her to collaborate with another woman artist. Cause she says she would like to she she would love to collaborate with like other women artists and they make, you know, like good quality music. So I really think that, you know, like I said, I don't know I know she's like, you know, still doing this album. I know she's still continuing doing this album, but I like I'm like, listen, you know, El Vonner, she gonna have to really, really like I said, I think that when this album is done, people gonna see how much of a talent, how much she's a force to be reckoned, you know, because I just think that for what I have to do and I saw it's almost like and, and like I said like I said you know I've, I've seen things I observed like I said I've seen like you know like I said artists that they really want to express themselves and they have the right to have a platform to express themselves so it's like for these knuckleheads think that oh well you know it shouldn't be um first of all listen you have the right to say whatever you want to say but there are things like when you say you know you gotta know what you're saying too you gotta be aware of what you say. You can't just say anything. But when it's something that you're standing for, what you believe in, it's very important. You have to do this. 
You know, I have, I have, I know I have to stand up for myself, and I still do have to stand up for myself. Cause I'm sick and tired of people's BS. So I'm gonna be like, listen, listen. I'm not having it. So, and she also, and L, she also um, released a song called Nothing. And well, she's been performing it live. So she's been performing it live, like at gigs and other like you know venues and stuff. So she. So I think most likely that album is going to be on the, I mean, I'm sorry, most likely that song will be on the new album and she did say it, she did confirm it. So hopefully it will be on the album, the new album. So man, it's just, whew, it's just been like, I just have to keep going with these like videos because I really love, I really love, the, I really love talking about real stuff. I really love talking about like the artists that I love and the artists that I know that they really have what it takes to become the greats because this is the thing. It's like this generation, they deserve to see artists that, you know, they can have a connection with. They do deserve it because I know how people be talking about Michael Jackson and Prince and Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey and Brandy and Ali, like how people talk about those artists that really made a connection with them I mean and, and, and I'm just saying the older generation like yeah I grew up during you know Mariah's eras and stuff like and, and I love Mariah Carey Mariah is my favorite artist I love her too she's another one that I gotta hold it down for cause as a lamb when it comes to the queen aka the songbird supreme Mariah Carey I'm the one not to play with uh -huh. I love my Mariah, I really do. But um, getting back to Elvonner, um, I think Elvonner, you know, she should get more recognition. You know, and she should get more recognition, and she should be known for her talent. You know, and she actually she is known for her talent. So duh, that's like right off the bat. But it's like for people that you got some people they they have to focus on the talent. You know, they gotta focus on okay what what is the artist going to deliver so what is the artist's goal like what is he or she going to deliver in order to you know you know make it you know relatable you know and make it more like okay i see what this artist is about oh i see what this artist is about so um yeah you know and i think like i said i mean with el Bonner, i mean right now it's just you know she's just doing with she's just dealing with this new album upcoming album but yeah i mean she's really talented i mean she's very artistic too i mean this is just a picture of her this is one of my pictures i'm sorry okay guys want to see it up close up yeah she's very 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 artistic this is my favorite picture of her and she's very artistic i mean i just like you know seeing you know her you know embrace who she is as an artist i mean i like this picture too this is a bad picture of her too you know she's she's really really talented and i mean you get to see the different like facets of her you get to see like i said i said she's like you know quirk you know she's goofy she's funny she's like she's beautiful she's like you know expressing her individuality and I like that and I like when women they express themselves you know I like when they you know really express themselves for who they are and I really like that so it's like I'm telling you you know people you know we need to get together you know we have to get together I mean all of us have to get together I know I do because there's so many things I want to do and like I said I get so inspired by like my favorite artists and like I said, I think that it, it, well, actually, it is time. It's time for people to wake up, grow up, and start just digging deep inside their soul and bring it out and unleash it to others. And, 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 and I'm not saying in like a bad. I'm talking about in a positive way. I'm not saying this other crazy nonsense because some folk I don't know what they be on. They be on some whatever. But yeah, I think like I said, El Bonner, you know, she. 
she's really I know I believe in her I know she's gonna really 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 like she gonna surprise a lot of people I, I, I and I know she's she's underrated too because like I said you know she's talented like she's not for the gimmicks she's never been here for the gimmicks she's always been here for the real so it's like you know people you know support L. Varner and I will be keeping an update on L. Varner just like my other artists. So all the artists that I've been talking about in my videos, I will keep an update with you guys on. And like I said, you know, just subscribe to my channel. And you know, what are your comments? Um, what do you like about L. Varner? Um, do you have any of her? Well, do you have any of her like music in your playlist? So let me know, and I will be back with another episode of Get to Sense 92. Alright, peace.